Hello, and welcome back to Actually Aubrey. Tonight we're talking about OWN's Network's new show uh, for the holidays, The Big Holiday Food Fight, hosted by Kim Whitley. Turns out it's not an actual food fight, okay? It is more like a cooking show for home cooks, home chefs. So the celebrity judges on the panel are James Wright Chanel and Darnell Super Chef Ferguson and Gina Neely from formerly the Neelys, right? Okay, and our three contestants are Cheryl, who's an office assistant and learned to cook at age five, taught by her mom and her grandmom. Siobhan, a handsome Jamaican man from Kingston, Jamaica, who now lives in Los Angeles. And Jojo, who's a stay-at-home mom and wife who started cooking at nine and wants to start her own catering business. Now, here's the thing. The grand prize tonight is $5,000. So each one of these contestants has a chance to win that $5,000. Tina Lifford from Queen Sugar, Aunt V. She was the guest star, so she made an appearance via Skype. Okay. Okay, first round, we're working with spices, and they're judging on spices and the use of spices in making holiday appetizers. So. They had to make a bruschetta. Siobhan, our um, Kingston, Jamaican young gentleman, made a curry shrimp bruschetta. And I have to say, Siobhan, very sexy, very hot young man. Now, I don't like younger guys, but if I did, if I did, all right. And then, um, mm, JoJo. She's got, um, she made the Cajun shrimp toast, look delicious. Um, somebody tell me down in the comment section because I, I used to know this, but I don't remember. What's the difference between Cajun and Creole? The difference between Cajun and Creole. Let me know down in the comment sections, okay? Okay, now here's the thing. When the judges went to taste the dishes, um, JoJo won. She was the winner of round one, even though they did give her a tip that if you're going to make this shrimp dish, please take the tails off the little shrimp, okay? All right. So now, moving on to round two. Round two, they got 45 minutes to make two side dishes, and at least one of them has to be made with sweet potatoes. So Siobhan made mac and cheese with jerk bacon bits and mashed sweet potatoes now here's my question for you guys let me know down in the comments section do you prefer mashed sweet potatoes or candy yam style okay put that in the comments section all right okay now siobhan once again incorporating his jamaican heritage in his dish decided to do the jerk you know the jerk bacon and I think he burnt the bacon, so that wasn't the best thing. JoJo's side dish was her family tradition of a dish called Original Joe, which is like a beef casserole with sauteed spinach, onions, and cheese. It sounded really good, it sounded fattening, but very good. And then she made um, bourbon citrus candy yams. Sounds kind of like my um, brandy candy yams, but probably not nearly as good. All right, so Siobhan almost lost the round because he made this comment, okay? He said, one love and one cheese, talking about mac and cheese. Uh, any of you out there cook and make mac and cheese? No, there's no way to make a good mac and cheese dish with just one type of cheese, all right? We know that, right? Okay, so Cheryl, her candy yam, she used um, Mexican spices, some type of uh, sugar and molasses. I can't say what she said in Spanish. She seems to have a good um, Spanish bilingual tongue. I do not have that same tongue, but I just know that it was uh, Mexican spices, which included sugar and molasses. So it sounded really good. And her second side dish was green beans with smoked applewood bacon. 
But here's the problem. She microwaved the bacon and in the process, she burnt it. Uh-oh. The final presentation of the sides. Sean's mac and cheese with the jerk bacon bits look good. A little pale, but the judges seemed to love it because they said that he did use pepper jack cheese and that set it off. His uh, sweet potatoes were smooth, but they didn't have um, any notes to them. They were just kind of like a clean tasting the way they described it with like not any sweet notes or that type of thing. So maybe not the best right there. Um, Jojo, her original jo Joe's casserole dish with the beef, the sauteed spinach, onions, and cheese. Uh, it looked good. They seemed to like it. Uh, the candy yam with the citrus bourbon and the spicy pecans. It had the judges licking their finger, but then they commented that it was heavy on the nutmeg and cinnamon. Jojo was then eliminated. So now we're on to round three, and it's just Chiffon and Cheryl. And we're doing desserts in 45 minutes. Cheryl's making the peach cobbler. And we learned that Cheryl likes a lot of sugar because I think after the fifth cup of sugar in the peach cobbler, I stopped counting. Siobhan, on the other hand, the young Jamaican guy, made a Jamaican banana fritter with a twist. And in the end, Cheryl won the grand prize. And she was quite happy. I enjoyed it. If you guys saw this or you get a chance to watch it on Video On Demand, I, t I would suggest you watch it. I really enjoyed the show. I learned, I got some ideas for my dishes coming up for this Thanksgiving. Uh, I won't be doing one cheese, mac and cheese. That's not going to work. So let me know down in the comments what you thought of the show or if you've seen it or if you're going to watch it on video demand or next Tuesday, it'll be on again on OWN Network. All right. Signing off now. Thank you for listening and watching. Um, please like this video and please share and leave a comment. Talk to y'all soon. Bye now.